Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. Just lovely. It is uh, Friday, March 5th, 2021. How about this? Let, let's start off with, uh, I don't know what you even want to call this. So we got this non-farms payroll number this morning. Apparently, we added 379,000 jobs. Oh, let's see. Uh, hmm, interesting, because... Yesterday, we found out that another 745,000 people applied for first-time unemployment benefits. Well, to me, that's a net loss of, uh, I don't know, around 400,000. But the unemployment rate magically has come down. People, you can't make this stuff up. It's impossible to do. This is the mind games that they play with you. Uh, what else, what else did we find out yesterday? The largest drop in GDP in 40 years, 39 years, I want to be exact here. Uh, again, it's incredible what we're seeing. We're losing jobs every week, hundreds of thousands, net loss. So tell me, you tell me, how do we, how do they pull off dropping the unemployment rate. It's amazing what they try to do, people. We are in free fall. There's no end in sight here. I mean, the economic news just keeps getting worse. But again, they're trying to convince you that what you're seeing is not real, something I've explained to you for like forever now. But it just it gets under my skin a little bit. It probably does to you too. The lies, the propaganda, the misinformation, the misdirection. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, we're adding jobs. Oh, no, no, no. But net, we're losing jobs on an epic scale. It's terrible. And uh, this phenomenon is going to continue. We're not even close to bottoming out. Not even close to bottoming out. Anyway, let's go back to this market real quick. Stock futures are flat uh, to slightly lower right now. Okay, all well and good. Are you looking at that 10-year yield? It continues to climb, people. But again, don't be surprised at what you're seeing here. I sincerely believe the Federal Reserve is playing a game. They ran an experiment on that 10-year yield to see what they can do uh, to make sure they can keep it in a very tight range. Then yesterday, we get yellow stain. With an inflation warning, there's no way in the world the man did not realize, it was done on purpose, that this would drive the bond market crazy, which it clearly did, all by design. Again, it's a very simple setup what he's trying to pull off. The Fed wants more control of the yield curve and of the entire debt market. So they're creating turmoil okay, in the debt market here. Pressure on the stock market like we saw yesterday. Who knows, that can happen today with the 10-year yield where it is. This is not good, especially because the dollar is stronger. This is a bad setup, bad. Although they did manage to prop up crude oil another 2% right now pre-market. All right, so again, I don't think the bleeding is over. All right, they're going to continue to cause volatility by design, in the debt market, because everything is a derivative of what's happening in the debt market. The, the stock market is a derivative of the debt market. You understand? Okay, very clear. Uh, so create turmoil in the debt market. You get pressure on stocks. Uh, you know, it's it, that's just what they're looking to do here. Create a problem. Wait for the reaction. Guess what? We have a solution. Uh, either full yield curve control or a new version of Operation Twist. You all know what Operation Twist is. They buy long-term bonds. They sell short-term bonds. It's complete rigging. Look, the market has no price discovery mechanism behind it because the Fed is rigging the debt market to the highest order. We do not have a free market. Nothing matters except easy money. And the easy money will continue to pour in. Just look at the Fed's balance sheet. It's gone straight up, a mechanism which is going to continue here, people. It's not going to stop. Not going to stop. 
Uh, and what else are we going to see? Pressure on gold, which we have right now. Pressure on silver, which we have right now because that needs your higher in the dollar. This mechanism of dollar strength, in my view, based upon epic debt issuance and acquisition can not last, can happen. And, and, and anyway, you know how this works. Even when the dollar is under pressure, metals somehow freakishly underperform. We know why. It's a rigging of the metals market. It's incredible what they can get away with, honestly. Uh, but even being caught red-handed, I'm referring to JP Morgan, rigging the metals market. And there's been other banks too. They get fine after fine after fine. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody gets in trouble. It's just a fine. It's a fine. It's a fine. It's crazy. But anyway, let them play their game. We will play our game. For this market, people, look. Um, expect volatility here. This was all set in motion by design yesterday by Fed Chair Powell. There is no way in this world the man had no idea that his inflation warning would not vault uh, yields, bond yields higher. He knew it. He had to know it. Again, this was thought out by the Fed. Okay, let's introduce the prospect of an inflation spike. Let's allow the debt market to go out of control, like it's doing right now, so we can gain control via yield curve control, a new version of operation to us. This is what they're going to do. This is what they're setting up right now. Nothing is by accident. Everything has been thought out before. And this whole mechanism of this new American government, uh, they're all in bed with the corporations, obviously. Big Pharma is a huge part of it right now. The pushing of this vaccine here, uh, it's an incredible thing. And, and the banks which run the entire world. This, this is a terrible thing that we're all witnessing here. But again, look, it's right now, it's... It's every man and woman for himself. You got to understand what's happening and take steps to protect yourself against the financial nightmare that we are in. This is a financial nightmare. The debt market is a financial Frankenstein. And the Frankenstein monster that is the debt market is going to get a lot worse again as the Fed plays their game with the debt market looking to institute more control digital dollar coming down the pike I mean you can see it everywhere what is going on how they're setting this up it's an incredible thing absolutely incredible so again like I said uh, right now stocks are set for a slightly lower open watch that 10-year yield today uh, it's, it's critical it's vital it's in the danger zone right now and the dollar getting stronger like this is not a good setup it's not a good setup but I I don't know about you I am very interested to see what they pull off today I really am I always am it's exciting to me <laughs> just to watch this this whole shit show play out all right look this guy here loves you a lot Please share the video, get it out there, and uh, I will see you at the end of the day. We're going to put this all together, and it's going to be just perfect. See you later.